your tweet has gone viral today. You talked about the SEO and what, what? Just tell us about it. Well, I've already tweeted that at one point there was a photo which was shown, taken at the summit, which showed our Indian flag. I felt. Uh, as an Indian was being disrespected because the Indian flag in today's time represents strength and it did not deserve the respect in terms of its positioning. But more important than that, what has been more disappointing as an Indian has been Prime Minister Modi's opening statement at the Shanghai Cooperation Summit where he talks about Russia, where he talks about Ukraine, where he talks about millets and he doesn't talk about India's boundary conflict with China. You don't talk about the our security, our security concerns with terrorism with respect to Pakistan. What a meek and weak statement. He said that, you know, in the, and his party said that they would show a red eye to the Chinese. But look at the statement that was read today. So even more disappointing than that photo, which is a photo at the end, is the statement of the Prime Minister in which he has not even mentioned once about the boundary conflict. You're talking about Russia and Ukraine. We have lost 1,200 square kilometers of Indian territory. In the run-up to this Shanghai summit, Prime Minister Modi has agreed to pull back Indian troops from its own territory. Over the last two years since the Galwan Valley clash has taken place, China's trade surplus with respect to India has only in increased. So India has become weaker vis-a-vis -vis China, whether it's on the boundary, whether it's with respect to trade. And this statement, I felt that since it was the first time Prime Minister Modi and President Xi Jinping will be at the same summit in person, this was the time for India's strategic interests to be articulated by the Prime Minister, but he chose not to articulate. Why is he remaining silent? Why is he being so meek? I hope he has a press conference someday and addresses all these concerns.